or even a negative event that hasn't even happened in your life yet. Something that you're just thinking about in the future that could possibly happen. You're stressed. You're worried about that thing. What starts to happen with your body and your physical state and your mental state of being? You literally start to get nervous. You get anxiety. You shake. Sometimes you can't eat. You can't sleep. You literally feel as if that reality is true. You're working off the law of assumption in a negative way because you're assuming that something negative is going to happen. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. This Gentlemen, greetings. And welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you all about why positive attitude is a choice, fellas. If there's one thing I've learned in my life, it's that your attitude and your mindset determines the quality of your life. It doesn't really matter what you're going through, good or bad. The only thing that matters is how you choose to view the situation. That's it. Have you ever sat down to think about why some people are successful and some people aren't? Well, fellas, I have. I've done a lot of research into this topic, as a matter of fact. Mindset is one of my biggest passions in life. And people who are successful, more often than not, they have a positive attitude and a positive outlook on their life. These individuals are the same ones who face tremendous setbacks and have to overcome ridiculous amounts of adversity and obstacles. No one who's ever become successful has ever done so by not having any obstacles or anything to overcome, fellas. There's example after example of people who have been beaten into the ground by life, by circumstance. But they continue to get back up and they continue to live and thrive and go after the things that they really want. A lot of this has to do with your subconscious mind and the things that you tell yourself, the story that you, that you replay, the things that you feel. Neville Goddard says that the best way to work on manifesting and controlling your thoughts and bringing these things to reality is to do the manifestation process right before you get ready to go to sleep. And he says that you should think about your life and the things that you want with great detail. Think about those things and start to get the feeling and feel and work off the assumption that those things are a reality in your life and if you do this right before you go to bed your subconscious mind takes those thoughts for the next eight hours while you sleep and it helps you build and create that reality in your outer world he says to just use the law of assumption think about it feel it go to sleep in that state and assume that it's going to happen and when you do this day after day after day, what you'll notice is that the things in your life start shifting. You get one small break here, one small break there. Things start to go your way. You start to get new ideas because your mindset is right and you're thinking correctly. And when you're thinking correctly, fellas, that's when you're going to start to see wins in your life because your mindset has changed. Now you truly believe that you can do it. You're working off the law of assumption. You're assuming that these things are already a reality, that you're going to get them. No matter what anyone else says, what anyone else is talking about, you felt the feelings. And if you've ever done this type of uh, thinking and imagining before, fellas, then you know how godly the imagination is. You know that it can take you from the current state that you're in now, which may be down, but then you imagine and you envision these things and all of a sudden your state, your consciousness, the way you feel starts to elevate 
But fellas, the opposite holds true. If before you go to sleep at night, you're thinking about fear and despair and all the things that could possibly go wrong, those are for certain the things that you're going to manifest in your life. They are. The way you feel, those things become reality. Have you ever been sitting around um, thinking about uh, like a, something negative in your life, like a negative event? What starts to happen, fellas? Or even a negative event that hasn't even happened in your life yet. Something that you're just thinking about in the future that could possibly happen. You're stressed. You're worried about that thing. What starts to happen with your body and your physical state and your mental state of being? You literally start to get nervous. You get anxiety. You shake. Sometimes you can't eat. You can't sleep. You literally feel as if that reality is true. You're working off the law of assumption in a negative way because you're assuming that something negative is going to happen. And oftentimes, something negative does happen because that is what you are manifesting. The same, the same goes for working in a positive way, fellas. Before you go to sleep at night, you need to spend the last five minutes training and telling your subconscious mind exactly what it is that you want to become a reality in your life. Spend that five minutes thinking and feeling and do it every single day and work off the law of assumption as if it's going to become a fact in your life. And it will become a fact. Positive attitude is a choice. No one wants to be around a oh, sour, Debbie Downer ass individual where every time you come around, you bring the whole mood of the group down. I know people like this, fellas, and I'm sure you do too. And those people are fucking annoying. And they get on everyone's nerves, and no one wants to hang out with them. And these people, they just can't seem to figure out why no one wants to hang out with them. Well, I can tell you why. It's because every time you come around, you make everyone in the group feel like shit. Because you have a negative mindset. And all you're doing is talking about, oh, my, my cat has cancer. Oh, oh, my cousin Debbie um, has this sickness and this disease. Oh, um, I can't pay my rent this month. Oh, oh, my, my, the doctor said I, I need back surgery. I don't have any luck. I don't have any faith. Oh, no, I don't believe in any God. The universe, fuck the universe. It's just negativity after negativity. You don't believe in anything. If you don't have any faith in anything, then of course you're gonna be negative and be a Debbie Downer. So you might need to spend some time focusing on what exactly it is that you believe in. And focus on fixing that mindset that you have. And then maybe people will wanna be around you more. You ever notice the, the people who have just a positive, uplifting energy about themselves? Fellas, those are the people that you want to be around, even when it comes to your dating. You want to be around a woman who's negative, who's uncooperative, who gets on your nerves, who's mean, who's nasty, who never has anything positive to say? Oh, no, you don't. You want to be around a woman who's sweet and kind and uplifting and who's a giver and who does things for you and who has a positive attitude and positive mindset. So have you ever checked your attitude and mindset? Maybe you don't have one. Maybe that's why she doesn't want to stay because you're always on her backside about this or about that. And maybe you just get on her nerves. Whether she wants to stay or go, you are going to have a positive attitude. Whether you fail or succeed, you are going to have a positive attitude. Whether you win, or whether you lose, you're going to have a positive attitude. That should be the mindset. You should constantly be working on your mind, your brain, and the way you think. That is how you are going to manifest positive outcomes in your life. And if you don't believe me, I don't really care. Keep doing it your way. Keep getting negative results. Keep feeling like shit. Keep being depressed. Keep having all that anxiety. Keep popping your little anxiety pills if that's what you want to do. But I'm telling you that there's a different way. 
And how do I know? Because I've done it. Because I've been practicing this. Because I've been studying this for years. You attract what you are, fellas. So, so if you're a ball of anxiety and panic and fear, you are going to attract other individuals who are just like you. You are going to attract um, negative events that come into your life a lot more consistently than someone who has a positive outlook. Someone who has a positive outlook, no matter what happens to them, they are going to they are going to find the positive in that event. They are not going to let anything slow them down or hold them back because their mind is right, their heart is right, their faith is right. And so at the end of the day, you have to figure out what kind of person you want to be. But I think what you'll come to realize is that a positive attitude truly is a choice. It isn't dependent upon your circumstance. You choose. You choose how you see any given situation that you find yourself in. And if you choose to have a positive mindset, fellas, you're going to be able to handle and deal with life's ups and downs much better. You're going to be able to manifest the things in your life that you really want. So the choice is yours, but I encourage you to do some work on your mindset and really try putting the law of assumption and manifesting to work in your life, just like Neville Goddard suggests you should do. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. Fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Check out my Patreon for exclusive weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh.